I'm Cynthia Nickerson. You're watching Comcast High School Sports On Demand powered by MaxPreps.com. And Naya White wasn't quite sure what to expect when she was brought up to the varsity level on the George Ranch track team as a freshman. Uh, I was kind of scared because like they always say high school workouts are harder than junior high, but it's kind of it's the same as junior high. It wasn't that scared. What helped was the event Anaya excels at is the triple jump, where it's just her and one other girl on varsity. Uh, we brought the freshman up. I think it was the second track meet. And, um, you know, she was a little nervous being around different girls. And so uh, Tito sort of took up on her wing. And so she's been that, that confidant, that friend, and just helped her out, you know, as far as, uh, as coaching, coaching her up on the jumps and just being a friend to her. So that's, it's been good. She's been a lot of help. Anaya and Atito have been working out together all year. Atito is a junior and helps guide Anaya. Anaya, she's a really, she's a really sweet girl. She really pushes herself. Like, Anaya, she can go far. She's like, she's a freshman. And she, just last meet, she jumped like a 34, and that's really far for a freshman. And honestly, she really did work hard with this. She can go really far with it, honestly. She's like a really good jumper. <laughs> and Anaya appreciates that advice. Uh, she's funny and she's very encouraging. Like she tells me, because she sees the looks I get on my face when I see another girl jump farther than me. She's like, you know what, you got it. You can jump farther than she can. And I actually feel like I can jump farther. A lot of times they coach themselves. I mean, they can look at one another's jumps and technique and uh, see what they're doing wrong. So a lot of times I, I can just walk away and, I, and they'll just coach themselves, whether it's getting a mark or whether it's their, their overall technique. They're good about doing that. Both girls were encouraged to run track by their mothers. Anaya started out in middle school. In well, seventh grade, that was the only event I did, and I played basketball before that, and my, my basketball coach saw how high I can jump and like how far I can cover. Like, And she said, maybe you should try out for long jump and triple jump. And I went to every track meet for both jumps, and I was like either first, second, or third place. I was like... 14 years, 14 years old whenever I first said, Mom, let me race you. And that was the first time I beat her in a race. And I was like, yeah. And then let me say, and then she was like, you know what, you should be in summer track, or you should do track. And then I started off with summer track. And then when I came in as a freshman in high school, that's when like my first, former coach, Coach Gear, she called me and told me I should be like, she said, why don't you start off with cross country? And then I tried cross country a little bit and then I just went inside track. I went and did track and I loved track. When Otito decided to focus on triple jumping, she went at it like a kid's game at first. First it was easy because I just imagined it as hopscotch. I, like, because you just go right, right, left. Just like something like I used to do when I was little, you go like, like kind of like hopscotch. But, um, yeah, like, but later on when it got more serious, that's whenever I was just like playing around with it. But when it got more serious, then it was all like mental, like, okay, I need to get from this distance to this distance just to go this far, this far you know. Then she realized how competitive it really is by watching girls at track meets. That made her get serious. Whenever you'd go to track meets, you'd see like, mostly like varsity track meets, you see girls who have been jumping all their lives and who are jumping like, 42s and things and I'm just like wow like I really like I really try to like you know I aspire to jump that far but like that's just makes me that makes me want to work harder at this because I know like other girls take it really seriously it's just like I need to because I, when I see them jump far I was like wow like they they're really they're Olympic level <laughs> and I, I'm just here I'm just starting off but Atito has observed enough and jumped enough to help her younger teammates sharpen her skills and encourage her not to get down when she sees more polished jumpers. Because you would sit around and hear other girls' scores. Oh, she jumped a 36. Oh, she jumped a 37. Oh, she jumped a 42. Like, you just, you just have to learn how to block that out and do your own race. Like, you have to just think about your own self. And sometimes whenever you hear, oh my gosh, she jumped farther than me. I have to jump, I have to probably change what I do just to jump as far as she did. No, you just have to do what you do and just jump it. Like, just block out everything and just jump your own. Basically, we just stick together to make each other better. So like if one is feeling like if one is feeling like they're doing bad, like we just encourage them to keep going because it'll get better. Inaya is still playing basketball and hopes to make a real impact on both teams over the next three years here at George Ranch. Uh, I'd like to get a split 
scholarship actually for basketball and track. Anna Tito hopes for a track scholarship so she can study medicine. She wants to help the people of her homeland. Because later on, I'd like to go back to my country, Nigeria. That's where I'm from. And I'd like to like help because like over there, there's not much good medical care. So I'd like to go over there and help out as much as they need to. These two student athletes are part of the Young George Ranch program and will play a role in advancing the school's name and reputation throughout the Houston area. Well, you know, we've been open for three years and um, I think this year is going to be our year to really put the name George Ranch out there. A lot of people don't know about us. Um, it's sort of like you say, tucked away. Uh, we, we have sort of in the woods, but we got a lot of talent. Uh, the community is great. Um, our head coach supports us in, in all sports, so it's just a good place to work for. Uh, our principal here is, is great, so it's just a good place to work. I'm Cynthia Nickerson. Thanks for watching Comcast High School Sports on Demand, powered by MaxPreps.com.